All right, so going over your uh, homework for tonight, just a couple of problems. Um, I'm actually not going to do problem number one. Um, I'm going to jump to number two because number one, they're both in slope intercept form. Make sure you realize you've got to have, you've got to graph the line. You've got to decide dotted or solid. And then you have to decide the shade above or below. Those are the three things for each one of these you have to deal with. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go over here to number two. I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to start at negative three. And I'm going to go up seven and right, three, uh, right four. Okay, and that is going to be a solid line. And right now I would be shaded below. Okay, the second equation here is a little different. It's just a Y line. Okay, that is your hoi or your horizontal line, which means I'm going to go to four on the Y axis and I'm going to draw a horizontal line. It is dotted because of the... Uh, sign and it is greater than so I would shade above so the only place that these two overlap is going to be this little this little triangle right up here okay now in number three and four they are not in slope intercept form yet so that's the first thing you have to do is rearrange okay so I'm gonna move my 5x so that's gonna give me 4y is greater than positive 5x minus 16 and divide by 4. So that's going to be 5 over 4x minus 4. So I would start at negative 4. And then I would go up 5 and write 4. So that's going to be a dotted line. And it is greater than, so I'm going to shade above right now. All right, second one, when you rearrange, it's going to become y is less than or equal to negative one-fourth x plus two. So I would start at positive two, and I would go down one and right four, up one and left four. has the line underneath it, so it's going to be a solid line. And it is less than, so I would technically shade below. And then you will see that the two overlap in this little area right here. So you need to make sure this part is darker than any other. Okay, so you'll do the same thing for problem number four and problems number six and eight. Number eight has a horizontal line as well, just like problem number two. Okay, and then I'm going to jump to problem number five. Okay, remember we can do our chart here. Okay, James bought two boxes of cereal and one gallon of milk for twelve twenty-five. dollars Cereal was $1.25 more than the gallon of milk. Okay, so we've got cereal and we've got milk. So uh, cereal is $1.25 more than milk, so milk's going to be X. This is going to be X plus $1.25. He bought two boxes of cereal and one gallon of milk. And when we multiply that together, that's going to give me 2X plus $2.50 for cereal and then 1X for milk. You're going to add that up. That's going to give you 3X plus $2.50. It's going to equal $12.25 solve from here and then divide by three and your answer is three dollars and 25 cent for a gallon of milk and it asks for cereal so you have to add your dollar 25 to that making your cereal four dollars and fifty cent okay and problem number seven Okay, that is a uh, system of equations, I believe. Yes, so you're going to set up your two equations, and remember you will cancel one of them out.